So I was hired to bring the ratings back up being Dr. Oliver. Um, then the brand, he sold it for like whatever, a billion dollars, but he bought it back for a fraction of what he bought it, what he sold it for. And the trick was that, is that you need to understand the brand in order to give the fans what they understand. That's why Aaron is a fan and he understands the fans of all the superheroes out there. That's why he's got millions and millions and millions of hits because he understands it. The difference was, it's like going into Starbucks and ordering a coffee, but you don't understand the Starbucks language. It's terrible. Like, I just want a small. Tall? No, small. A tall is a small. Why are you making it so complex? I don't understand it. Just give me a small coffee. We don't have coffee. We have this, this. So anyway, when Fox got the show, they didn't know what to do with it. They took our visors out. They hired a Dulcia. James Mansfield, I believe, was the first Dulcia. Uh, is that right? Or do, what's her name? James Mansfield's daughter? Marissa? Mariska Mansfield? Whatever. I think something like that. Whose daughter was she? The James Manfield. Yeah, okay. So we hired her and shot for like months, like months, and then all of a sudden they got rid of her. And then they took our visors out, and me and Dave were like, I was like, just do what they say, man. Like, do you look dumb? Like, yeah, I mean, you totally look dumb, and I'm not just talking about your helmet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But the visors were out, and our mouth was out, and it just felt very awkward. So they didn't know how to handle it, and it was a lot different. And then we're working on a huge film. like. I can't just sit here and be treated like an actor. I'm, I, I, I gotta move, like I gotta do something. I can't just sit in an actor's chair, you know what I mean? Um, so it was, it was big. Like I'd ask someone, hey, can you fix that shoe? They're like, that's not our department. And I was like, what do you mean it's not your department? Fix the shoe, we do hair and makeup. Who cares, fix the show, shoe. So they wasted a lot of money, but it was overall good. And um, it was just a lot different. The suits were super heavy, 50 pounds, couldn't kick. Now the way you guys make cosplay, you guys make the movie look silly. There's so many good cosplayers here um, that can make really realistic suits that can work. So it was a lot different. Um, and we were in Australia for a very long time. So it was fun, but, but hard at the same time. And then we filmed episodes in between our off time. Like I didn't have no off time. Like we worked six days a week, 14 to 15 hours a day for like years and years and years. So I never really got a chance to enjoy anything, enjoy my money or enjoy anything. So I enjoyed working. So when we were on hiatus, I was like, oh, I gotta work again. Gotta get in that spandex, I gotta stay busy, you know? And so it was a lot different, but it was fun. It came out okay. <laughs>